Hi Gemini, it's Elle here to do your May 2018 reading. Um, I wanna say thank you to all um, people who sent condolences and, and well wishes and just really um, beautiful uh, messages um, after learning about you know the loss in my family. So um, let's go ahead and get started. This, we'll start with love first, okay? And then we'll jump into career and finance. All right, here we go. I hope that everyone is having a good start to their May. I hope that everybody is experiencing spring, like, cause I'm here in Georgia, outside of Atlanta, and the weather has been schizophrenic, to say the least. Um, so hopefully it'll stabilize, all right? So what are the love messages for Gemini? All right, love messages for Gemini. True messages for Gemini, love messages for Gemini. Love messages for Gemini. Love messages for Gemini, all right? Bottom of the deck, the Six of Cups. All right. So this whole situation could involve children, someone from your past, someone returning from your past, someone older than you, uh, or vice versa, you're younger, or they're younger and you're older. Um, thoughts of good memories of the past. It may be turbulent now, but it was good in the past, is what I'm hearing for some of you. All right, so going on knight of pentacles upright capricorn virgo taurus what crosses that is the page of cups be a pisces here capricorn virgo taurus there's a solid offer coming in now this person is slow or or vice versa this is you gemini you want to offer something but you're being slow once again the the young and old dynamic is here Somebody's younger, somebody's older. Someone was coming as a knight, someone was coming as a page. Someone's doing more, someone's doing less. Someone's younger, someone's older. Someone wants something stable. The other person's offering right now fun in the sun. It could build, could build to something beautiful. The basis for all the energy is the knight of wands. Somebody in and out, somebody's flighty, someone's completely just acts on passionate offers and, and passionate measures and they only move you know by what they want the knight of wands is all about what he or she wants this could be you gemini or someone else aries sagittarius leo some of you are dealing with more than one person Presently, you're the Five of Cups. Wow. Right. Or some of y'all are in a third party situation. Five of Cups. Somebody was in a third party situation. Still is, or maybe with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Fire Sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Somebody's grieving also, grieving the loss of. They keep thinking about the third party situation. I understand that they have something solid with said person. Recent past, the King of Pentacles, yeah. Capricorn Virgo Taurus, definitely. Um, yeah, someone who is financially stable, solid, could have Capricorn Virgo Taurus in their chart, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Or this could be you, Gemma. It's a good family man, makes solid decisions that are good for everyone involved. Moving forward, near future is the Four of Cups. Someone's not taking to an offer. 
someone like I said somebody's still concerned about the three cups here and the three cups here not understanding that a lot of times that fourth cup for the four cups is you needing to take what the universe is offering but sometimes the universe is offering the fact that you need to enact some self love some self care here you're too concerned with a situation you have no control over you've been trying to control it four cups five cups six of cups you've been trying some of definitely definitely some of you dealing with Cap Cap uh, cancer pisces scorpio you've been trying to control this situation but it's out of your control what you do control is you and how you react your power the nine of pentacles some of you might have to walk away some of you are restless in your current job because there's a business opportunity you want to embark on some of you need to engage in self-care that's what the nine of pentacles man or woman is all about worrying about themselves caring about self ready for partnership because they've done the work within this cup is for you you need to turn the energy the love back to you gemini external to you is the ten of cups wow the ultimate level of happiness now whether this is in a family unit or this is just finding your happiness within yourself for self i know nobody wants to, I mean, i'm here nobody wants to hear this everybody wants to hear that it's gonna be all right the family unit is gonna stick together it's all gonna gel but sometimes it's not like that you sometimes it's it's not going to be all right until you change you want change but you don't want anything to change that's absolutely ridiculous and that's for anybody not just you gemini um you can't want change but not want anything to change the only thing that changes is change all right your hopes and fears five of pentacles yeah you don't you don't want to be left out in the cold of course no one does you don't want to feel lack monetarily you don't want to feel lack in a relationship you look like there already very well may be this is six of pentacles type of energy here with the knight of pentacles and the page of cups it's off balance there's problems in a relationship um somebody's doing more somebody has more someone can give more get uh gets more it's you know it's off kilter here in which somebody either you gemini or another person you're dealing with capital cancer pisces scorpio is bored in this situation um or you just need to take your cup back the self-love here with the four cups the outcome the ten of wands it looks like you're gonna drop the burden that is this relationship that is this situation i pull a few clarifying cards uh right what is the five of cups what is the five of cups thank you, thank you. the empress now that's my other man other woman card and we got three party here maybe you you still stuck on the fact that there was a third party or there is a third party i'm i'm even here for like fourth party like this is you deal with right and secrets and somebody's trying to keep an outside relationship a secret either you gemini or someone you're dealing with fertility here too with the pomegranates and then the empress here someone could be hiding a child too hmm. what's the ten of wands what's the ten of wands in the outcome what's the ten of wands in the outcome to the star and the chariot so we got aquarius and we've got cancer you're gonna drop the burden decide to heal and move forward now the chariot only carries one so you move forward possibly in that nine of pentacles energy just by yourself and worrying about self getting in control of your emotions your time your energy 
because you were off here. Right, Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're going to walk away from what seemed like a a loving situation, an upright situation, but you knew the truth. You know the truth. What is the Ten of Cups external to Gemini? What is the Ten of Cups external to Gemini? What is the Ten of Cups external to Gemini? The Ace of Wands. Yeah, a new passionate start for self. Self-love, self-healing. Seven of Cups. Maybe because there was an unfaithful spouse. Broken promises in the midst of a family unit. Someone creating illusions. Disillusionment around you. Your whole life. Oh, I don't know if I want to say that. It's so harsh. I'm hearing for some of you, your whole life is or was a facade. I think you knew that. It wasn't like something that you didn't know. What is the Knight of Wands? Okay. For some of you, it's Sagittarius. And then the Queen of Swords. Y'all cutting. Some of you cutting the Sagittarius out. Because this person is indecisive, in and out, back and forth. What's the Four of Cups? Right? You're not going to take to this what used to be successful relationship the two of cups you're bored in it or someone's bored in it knight of cups yeah it could be a cancer pisces scorpio sometimes this is aquarius uh six of swords yeah you're walking away to the hangman you're having strength yeah this person they could be like an emperor they draw you back in Because you're their comfort, but you are their comfort zone. You are where they've been for a number of years, a, a good amount of time, and they draw you back in, but with no real change. The death card isn't here. The world, there's no real transfer of energy no real transformation no transition into it's just more um more of this broke broken promises <clears throat> someone being unfaithful i think you might be just putting an end to it gemini because you're tired of it i think you know I mean, some of you are going to choose to stay. It looks like a comfortable life. You're with the King of Pentacles in regards to if we're talking monetarily, if we're talking about, you know, the physical. Um, but your emotional needs aren't met. The regard and the respect for the relationship isn't there. All right. Let's move on to career and finance. We'll get some good energy out of that. But yeah, Gemini, this looks like you move on. You, you're choosing, you're finally choosing to move on, not take the offer to be drawn back in. And it looks like they might only draw you back in because mm, either what they really want, who they really want, really don't want them. And like I said, you're their comfort zone. But as soon as better or um, or a, or a grand opportunity comes along, then your feelings are put to the back burner. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages for Gemini for career and finance. Career, whoa, career and finance. Career and finance. Thank you for the messages for career and finance. Career and finance. Moving forward. Career and finance. These cards spinning like it's a turntable. <laughs> career and finance. Okay. You put it back in there. If it comes out, we'll take career and finance. 
right ten of pentacles in reverse this deck does have reversals so what has been established for you with someone else could be with a Capricorn Virgo Taurus is now upside down some of you are thinking about your legacy and what you leave behind and what you've established and you feel like it's being turned upside down for some reason let's see career and finance the Sun upright the Emperor nice um, there'll be some light shed there'll be some positivity in the midst of what could deem not 100% negative, but what could deem uh, could be deemed as unknown or just uncharted territory. It looks like the emperor crosses you. You're getting the clarity, but the emperor he's upright, so he's standing firm. He's the emperor for a reason. He's dead a lot, or she's dead a lot. Um, Aries, so you dealing with Aries, Leo, or Leo. Something that's been hidden from you by the emperor is now is coming out. The basis for all the energy is the six of swords in reverse. Someone not moving away from a situation mentally. Someone not moving away from it. Upright, it would be. I know. I no longer want to fight. I want peace. I want tranquility. I want to fly my peace and tranquility. This could be you, Gemini. In reverse, it's. I'm okay with the five of swords. I'll reduce to the five of swords. I want to do the verbal battle. I'm not. I I have something to say. I'm not letting this go. I'm not walking away to find peace and tranquility. There is no peace and tranquility within the midst of this. This could be you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Recent past, the Tower in reverse. Some of you were avoiding a situation avoiding the tower okay some of you were avoiding the breakdown and the demise of a situation maybe in your your career and finance your relationship um you were avoiding it because it would it, it would have you would have to do this in the upright you have to move away mentally find peace with something that you didn't you weren't ready to find peace with you were dodging bullets but the bullets were still being shot at you in the recent past but something's being illuminated here presently we have the eight of pentacles in reverse Someone not wanting to put the work in. Someone feeling like they're putting work in. Or they have put work in. They got nothing. Nothing manifests from it. They weren't the nine of pentacles type of person that they wanted to be. They they didn't they don't feel like they have gained monetary. Like they feel like the ten of pentacles is in reverse. They feel like something is hindering. their stability or someone the ten of wands under there um well, something is in between the eight of pentacles in reverse and then the ten of pentacles in reverse something is is upsetting the apple cart something's upsetting the flow, the ebb and flow, and you knew it for a long time. You were avoiding it, but I think, let's see, it might be up front and in your face now. Somebody feels like they're doing a lot of work, and they need to be compensated more in a career and finance setting. Moving forward, the magician, upright. All right, this could, this is Gemini, Aries, sometimes Aquarius. So, you're trying to manifest something. You're upright. You have all the tools to do so. Your power is the devil in reverse, okay? Some of you are coming out of codependency, addiction, 
being addicted to love, being addicted to a person, obsession, third party situations, feeling bound and tied and stuck. External to you is the Six of Cups in reverse. The the you can't even live in the past with this person. It could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You can't even live in the past with this person. You know how, like, sometimes when, when, when things get rough, you can go emotionally or mentally to the past when things were good and they were right. I don't think it's ever been completely right and good with this person. I'm hearing some of you feel like you wasted a lot of time. Hopes and fears. Ace of Sword. Definitely hoping for some truth and some clarity. It looks like it's here with the sun and then the Ace of Swords. You get that truth and clarity that just cuts. It's decisive. It's divisive. It's going to divide. The outcome. The Page of Pentacles. The message of stability is here via the owl, via emotional, spiritual clarity. You can have a new start, a new foundational start, but you've got to let this happen. The tower has to happen. You've got it in reverse. You, you won't let it happen. You won't let things crumble because you feel like you're losing here. This could be in a job setting. You don't want to walk away from a job, but you know it. It doesn't pay you what you're worth. You do too much. You put in too much. Um, don't want to walk away from a relationship because you do too much. You, you put in a lot of energy. Page of Pentacles. The hangman in reverse. So you're coming out of that being stagnant, putting yourself in the hangman. Two of Pentacles. Some of you are dropping the ball on love, uh, love affairs, being in a codependent situation. The yeah. Some of you are coming out of being the other woman, or you know that there is another woman in your relationship, and you want out of the love affair, and no longer serves you. It never did. For some of you. What is the Six of Swords in reverse? The King of Wands in reverse. Someone who just wants what they want when they want it. Someone who is 100%, 110% only concerned about themselves. This is looking more like love, guys. I mean, what's the Devil in reverse? The Four of Wands upright. Yeah, you're coming out of a codependent relationship. A third party relationship, toxicity, addiction, obsession, eight of cups in reverse. You won't emotionally check out. It's very hard for you to check out, check out of this relationship. But once again, you got the nine of pentacles. You have the nine of pentacles in the same position in the last spread. The emotions are still here. You might be just walking away. Seven, yeah, standing your ground, eight of wands. Seven of wands, eight of wands. And you're having communication about the trouble that's, that is this relationship due to jealousy and greed and fidelity. What's the ace of sword? What's the ace of sword? What's the ace of sword? Seven of pentacles. Something that you've been in, you've been waiting for it. This the star at the bottom of the deck. Once again, you get the star again. You need to find emotional balance. You're off kilter. You need to heal. You need to heal from the past. You you have not. You will not until you let the tower be upright and let things crumble. Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. 
you want truth and clarity surrounding something you've been pouring into something you've been putting your energy into your time your money um a job situation a career you want truth and clarity surrounding this situation um That's too many. King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you want truth and clarity around. Maybe you've been with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio for a number of years, seven or more years, seven or more months. I don't know. Um, you've been pouring into this situation. You want the truth surrounding someone who is the charmer, who is in love with love, who loves a lot of ladies. The King of Cups. Who's more importantly in love with self first and everyone else second and third. The lovers and yeah, in reverse. You want to know if they're gonna make they haven't made the decision of who they really want. You want truth around that. Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. King of Wands in reverse. All right, guys. I mean, I tried to get some career and finance out of that. It just turned into a big love spread. Some of you are, know that you need to walk away from a career job setting that no longer fulfills you, especially monetarily. Um, some of you need to walk away from a relationship. It looks like once you get truth and clarity, then maybe you'll be able to at least physically walk away. But emotionally, you're still there. Um, and needless to say, this person pulls you back also. It's codependent. It's, um, it's all of those things. Let's get some. Wow, we're at 26 minutes. Okay, let's get three cards of advice for Gemini. Three cards of advice for Gemini. True messages of advice for Gemini for the month of May, May 2018. True messages for Gemini. Alright, messages for Gemini. Alright. Bottom of the deck, join in. Some of you need to network. You need to join physical groups, not online, where you meet people and you're out and you're doing things. Finances, definitely. Now, this could be good and, or bad, but some of you are concerned about your finances. You're concerned about the Ten of Pentacles was in reverse. You're concerned about someone else draining your finances or something draining your finances. Um, you're concerned about your financial well-being moving forward. Keep the faith, though. Until you have the star card. Keep the faith surrounding finances, surrounding the relationship decisions. Yeah, you have to make a decision about what you're going to do, how you're going to do it. Um, it looks like you get some clarity. And then maybe you can make that decision. All right. So, Gemini, I hope that this resonated with you. If it did, click that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, my new web address is below. Uh, go to my web address and book a reading if you if you feel like you want to book a personal reading. Uh, all the information to get in contact with me is below. Uh, to my first 50 monthly subscribers to the website, because you can subscribe on the website to a monthly reading it will come to you every month um it'll be a general reading about the energy surrounding you we have ten dollar fifteen dollar and twenty dollar monthly um subscriptions so to my first 50 subscribers you'll receive an additional reading just for signing up first 50 just for signing up so definitely getting your money's worth definitely for those who email me and let me know that they are not financially um at a place where they can uh just dump a, a certain amount of money out at one given time but 
you can afford if you can uh, a ten dollar monthly subscription look at Netflix Hulu uh, all kinds of subscriptions that we we pay for each and every month uh, phone gym if you feel like it's worth it take advantage of it you can cancel any time but definitely it'll be worth it just to pull that energy for yourself going forward every month okay so take advantage of that thank you thank you thank you for the likes shares and subscriptions to youtube to anywhere it's it all it all means the same and it's all love so once again jim and i remember when in doubt pray i am praying for you pray for me as well take care See you in mid-May.